Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today I'm going to talk about one of the great uses for clover. So I'm in the back of my property line and I'm in an area that used to be all buckthorn, Asian bittersweet, and other invasives. When you take out your invasives, you're going to expose the ground to new light. So this area was frankly just a lot of hard packed soil underneath the Asian bittersweet and underneath the buckthorn. So I didn't want to create a garden back here, but what I did want to do is establish some sort of erosion control. So what I've done is I've planted white clover. White clover is a great plant because it is wonderful for erosion control. It loves full sun, it's going to do well as long as it's kept evenly moist, and it's easy to establish. Also, things like rabbits love it, so the rabbits can come out here and graze if they want and hopefully stay out of my vegetable garden. You can see this area here, how nice and thick the clover is. It's not in flower right now. Next to this area, adjacent to it, is an area that we're continuing to clear from all the invasives. We're leaving some of the natives. We've got some crab apples and things like that. And we're also trying to establish the clover here. Now, clover does need a fair amount of sunshine. If it gets too shady, it will tend to thin out. So it's a little bit of an experiment. We'll see what happens. If the clover doesn't establish, some other natives will, like ferns and things like that. But clover is a great way to establish a green area if you want it. It's low maintenance. You could mow it if you wanted to a couple of times of the year or just leave it. This particular clover is called micro clover. It only gets to be about four to five inches high. And I absolutely love it out here. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.